This should be an exciting affair, and along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski, set to bring you all the commentary here on EA Sports. As we get set for this American Hockey League showdown, we send it ringside to Ray Ferraro. People don't know enough about the American League. It's a hard league. You've got young guys trying to climb up. You've got older guys trying to hang on. And it is an unpredictable, exciting league. This should be a good game. Both these teams look ready to go, as does the official. Let's bring it on. The Bears take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Takes the pass. Here's a shot. Shuts him down. Moves the puck. Quick shot. Here it scores. They're on the board early. Yeah, there's also a lot of people not in their seats yet. Man, that was quick. You're not aiming your deflection. You're just trying to change the direction of it. This beats the goalie because he can't catch up to the puck changing direction. Hershey's got that lead. They were talking about wanting to quiet that home crowd here. Well, they certainly did. Out of the gate quickly. A couple of shifts. Now they're up 1-0. Puck picked up in the open ice. Here's the chance. Makes the save. Legacy has taken away all of the rebound possibilities by putting that puck in the corner. The Penguins play it along the boards. Poked away by the goaltender. Hershey's got the puck in their own end. Takes the feed. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Unable to reach that one. They've got numbers. Slides the paddle in there and pokes it away. Molson's taking it from his own end. Hershey's in now. From one point man to another. He was locked in there. Copley's able to make the save, as we see here. This is a good scoring chance, but he's in good position. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. The Bears lead it 1-0. Hershey's won the draw. Puck picked up by Ledoux, and he denied that opportunity. Wilkesbury Scranton's got the puck in the defensive end. Handles the pass at center. Levels him with the hit. Hershey's got the puck at center. Denies him on the play. The Penguins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Hershey's gained possession. Takes the feed. Skates across the blue line. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. Legacy is right on top of this scoring chance. Nowhere for the puck to go. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. Hershey's ahead, 1-0. This neutral zone faceoff set to go, and we are back underway. Wilkesbury Scranton's got a hold of the puck. Nice pass. Oh, what a stop! Shot! Again the denial by the goaltender. Really sharp, never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Takes the feed. Slides it back to the blue line. Hammers it on net, and it doesn't get better than that. Oh, he's going to be shaking his head. Yeah, except all we would say on the bench is it sounded hard when it hit the end board. <laughs> I wanted another look at this one. I'm sure you guys were all impressed as I was. What a save by the goalie. Just here in the late stages of this frame, we got a 1-0 game to this point. The Bears take possession off the faceoff. That's blocked. 
Looking to set up offensively. Wrist shot from the slot. Stick save from the goaltender. Sends the pass over. Receives the pass. And they'll be forced to regroup after the puck bounces out of the offensive zone. Sends a pass over. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. And there she blows. The horn sounds. That'll do it for this period number one. Hershey's got the start they wanted. They get on the board quickly, and they take a 1-0 lead into intermission. It's time for our hamburger bonanza. If the home team scores in the next two minutes... As both teams get a breather, get a so will we. We'll take a quick pause for the cause. Opening face-off here in this second period is about set to go. Hershey's won the draw. Slides the puck over. Takes the pass. Wilkesbury Scranton's got a hold of it along the wall. Here they come up along the wing. Hershey's looking to break out of their own end. Look at that hustle there as yeah. they wave it off. You betcha, James. That's a good call. He keeps that play alive with effort only. Wilkesbury Scranton's got it across the line. Here's a chance and makes the save. Hershey's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Here they are on the attack. With possession along the wall. Hershey's got the puck along the wall. Wrist shot from the slot. Big save. Wilkesbury Scranton's got the puck along the wall. Takes the feed. They've got numbers. It's a two on one. That pass goes a little sideways. The Penguins ready to go on the attack. Rips it. Big time save on a big time shot. Here's a chance in front. Big stop by the keeper. Legacy's made an excellent stop here. He follows the puck and shuts down the scoring chance. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. one nothing the score. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Smart read by the defender to come up with it. The Penguins have played extremely well positionally. They don't have the puck. They've gotten it back more often than not. One-on-one -on -one with the goaltender. Here's a shot. Denies him with a big-time save. He thought he had him beat, but the goalie gets over to make a great stop. Trotman's going to play it against the half wall. Knocks it away with the paddle. Great poke check. Hershey's got it against the boards. Here's a chance. Hershey's got it along the wall. He scores! Oh, what a finish and sends the water bottle flying. A goal is a goal, but when the bottle pops, you go back to the bench feeling pretty good about yourself. He's popping bottles tonight. Most guys shooting a one-timer like that puck right between their feet. When that pass is there, it's like it's on the tee in golf. He hammered it. The Bears have widened the gap here in this second period, now up 2-0. Felt like this second one was going to show up eventually, James. They've had the majority of shots on goal. Good hit to knock the puck loose. From the neutral zone now. Directed over to Johansson. Hershey's got the puck against the boards. Takes it to the front. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Headman pass. The Bears get a hold of it. Race for the puck here. Icing waved off on the play. Can't connect. Couldn't find the intended target. Big play inside the defensive zone. 
along the half wall with the puck. Not able to connect. And that one's picked off in the neutral zone. Second period nearly into its final minute here. Wolfsbury Scranton's got a hold of it against the wall. Loses his balance on the play. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Takes a shot, gets in front of it. Hershey's generated a lot of quality scoring chances, which is why they lead here late in the second. And that's all she wrote on period number two in this one. Hershey's been excellent in their own end. They have given up absolutely nothing, and they lead a two-zip. When your team wins, you win $10 off at Bob's. Bring tonight's ticket to any local What's in store for the third period? Let's tune in to find out just moments away. Purchase of $50 or more. Tickets must be redeemed within a week of the game. Opening face-off for period number three is ready to go. Barring extra time, the final frame of this one. Here we go. Third period is underway. Ray Ferrar was back down at ice level. Ray, 40 minutes played so far. What's been your assessment of this tilt? Wilkesbury Scranton's had such a meager total of shots on goal. Predictably, they haven't scored. They've got to get more pucks to the net. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Takes the puck at the point. Here's the chance to set up now. Tees it up, and a strong defensive effort to get in front of that. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Made that stop. Schilling's dragging it along the line. And the lane's clogged up, blocking that. Takes a shot. Nice save by the keeper to trap that puck in his chest. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looked like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Hershey's got a 2-0 lead. The Bears win the faceoff. Fails to find the open man. Across the line. Takes the feed from the wing. The Bears played along the boards. Stones up with the blocker. Oh, and another big stop. Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. You put this kind of pressure on, eventually they can't chase you anymore. Now he's got room to carry the puck. Legacy's going to cover it up. He's been busy tonight, Ray. And been good. A lot of times you get busy and worn down. I think that's why you jump on it, freeze it in a close game. He's not had a break since that puck hit the ice about two hours ago. Every time they come into the zone, he's forced to make another stop. The Bears have been the aggressor offensively tonight as they continue to lead in the third. Wilkesbury Scranton's got it in their own zone. Keeps hold of the puck. From the slot, wrist shot, stick save for the goalie. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. Shot stopped by the goaltender. Legacy's going to hang on and just let things settle down for a moment. He really didn't have many options to play the puck, but no. in a close game, you want to be sure every time you do. Copley's not had a whole lot of work this evening, but he makes an excellent save there. This game is not going to spread out. More than half the period has expired. The Bears are currently sitting in the driver's seat, leading 2-0. Wilkesbury Scranton's got the puck along the boards. The Penguins move it in. Takes a wrist shot and puts it right over the crossbar. Oh, what a stop with the stick. The setters will glide into the dot. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Ledoux's got the puck in his own zone. Nice pass. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And that one's broken up. Steps into the offensive end. 
A little bump and grind, but still hangs on to the puck. Stop that one. That's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Takes control of the puck. Let's it go! Denies him on the slapper! Takes the bump and loses control of the puck. Takes the cross ice pass. Nice zone entry from the left. The Bears gain control of the puck against the wall. He got all of that one. The Penguins take possession in the defensive end. Nearing the final minute of the third. With the stop. Copley's had a solid night here. His save percentage is really good while they've built a comfortable lead. The Penguins have it from the corner. Close save, and he made it look simple. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Instead of covering up, he feeds it along. Picks it up. Here we go. That goes off a twig. Trying to get it out of their own end. Went for the home run play. Icing is the call as he misses the empty net. This is a great play if you hit the net. As it is now, not so much. They need a face-off win back in their defensive zone. The Bears lead it late in this third period. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. That win will help them get organized defensively. And the puck leaves the zone. Takes it from the right side. Grabs control of it at the point. Rips it and he says no. Trying to clear from the defensive zone. A chance that an empty net goes awry and we've got a face off back at the other end. Well, depending on how good your centerman is on the draw, I don't know if this is a very good play. Goudreau's won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. They've got a tired group against them. That win sets up an offensive play. Puts it into the empty net. That allows me to start packing up my briefcase. That should pretty well wrap this thing up. Now that empty netter should wrap this up here. We're in the last little bit of the third period. That should be enough. Hershey's offense has not been a problem tonight. They put a lot of shots on net and lead it big time late in this third period. Handles the puck. Joe Snibley, assisted by number 31. And there it is! Dialed in tonight as he picks up the shutout, Razor. Sometimes you watch a goalie in warm-up and they struggle and you wonder if that's going to carry over to the game. I didn't think he was really sharp in warm-up. It shows you it doesn't matter. The game's the game. In the meantime and in between time, he's Ray. I'm James. Good night.